Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Happy Friday. Welcome back to the channel. Listen, today's video short, sweet, to the point. I had no earthly idea that this Myrtle Beach queue was going to be so enticing to all you guys. Like I knew the stream was probably like the results were probably going to be cool, but I thought it was going to be like people would just want to find out the results, not really watch the stream and then not really care about any additional content. Boy, was I wrong. You guys are just eating up everything Myrtle Beach right now. So we're going to talk about a couple different things, close it out. Uh, we had a response from Micah. We got some news. We had a couple other things we're going to cover. So hit that subscribe button so I can buy uh, wireless uh, AirPods. You know, my wife's got the AirPods and I've got these. I'm reporting the news every day on YouTube Golf to you guys with wired headphones like it's 1996. Anyways, let's dive right into it. This is what I want to start with today. Uh, 18 holes from the PGA Tour. I think the title originally was an ending you never expect. But as you can see here, just a side note, we got Peter Finch's video. You had Grant's video come out yesterday. All the creators putting their own spin on it. Kind of cool because the event, one of the big complaints was you didn't get a lot of like audio from the creators. You can get a lot of their like reactions or takes. And that is really what's coming out in these videos. If you watch the videos, it's there more like raw audio behind the scenes style stuff. But anyways, the reason we're talking about this is George Bryan had a pretty cool little moment at the end of this video. So let's click on it together. Or let's watch it together. Guys, I don't know what this phone call is about, but apparently we have a phone call with the tournament director. <sighs> don't want to get, don't want to get my hopes up. All right, all right, all right. Hello? George, what's up, man? How we doing? Good, how are you? Uh, Doing great, doing great. <laughs> Good. Well, Darren Nelson with the uh, Myrtle Beach Classic. Darren, you doing all right today? Doing good, man. Hey, uh, wanted to see what you're doing May 6th through 12th. We'd like to offer you a spot in the Myrtle Beach Classic. <laughs> yes, guys, I... So, I mean, you probably, you probably know he's posted it. It's been on his video. People have been talking about it. You probably know that this has happened, but I figured I'd cover it because it's cool for two reasons. Number one, obviously George handed to a PGA Tour event. That's sweet. I honestly didn't think this was that big of news at first though. I'm still gonna cover it for you guys because it's YouTube golf, but like George Bryan is just a, a, a professional like PGA Tour level golfer to me. He really is. Like he's, and I mean this in the nicest way possible. He's like an alternate field event sponsors exemption PGA Tour golfer. Like. I don't, I'm not shocked when I hear he's getting into an alternate field event or when he's getting in a sponsor's exemption into, you know, whatever, a non-elevated event. That's not surprising. Like if George Bryan all of a sudden gets an invite to the Masters, that would be surprising. But this guy is a serious, serious player. He came out, he proved himself at this event and you got, I mean, let's be honest, the, the Myrtle Beach Classic, you say what you want. I don't think they're just doing it out of the goodness of their own hearts. Like they, on some level, good for them. They are, that's great. He definitely proved that he deserved it and it was very heartbreaking how he ended up losing that spot but you gotta think brian bros getting into their event especially as a brand new event this year first time they've ever done it i think it's home state for them or adjacent home state i don't know if north south if they're north south or whatever anyways i think it's the same state it, it makes a lot of sense the event's gonna get a lot of publicity because obviously they're gonna go brian bros they're gonna carney's gonna film it they're gonna have a bunch of videos come out about it so the more talk that a brand new PGA Tour event, especially a smaller likely alternate field or like non-stacked field event will probably get the better. Like the more exposure they're gonna get, the better and doing it through these sources. I think it's good on them. I think it's smart. I think it makes a lot of sense. And I think they're probably going to have a very, very positive outlook from YouTube golf fans moving forward, which, you know, there's a lot of us. So good on them. It's cool. I'm excited to see George in it. Listen, the guy made the cut in his first event last November, Butterfield Bermuda. I would love to see him do that again. Just do something special, you know, do something special, get himself some status that he can be like Wesley and kind of pop in and out of event. Okay. Anyway, speaking of Myrtle Beach, we had to go. Michael responded finally to uh, everything that happened in the qualifier for him. Obviously he went out, didn't have a great day. We talked about it in the last video. I was gobsmacked by how many people were just ragging on him. Like, I don't know if I'd say gobsmacked because obviously it makes sense historically, but <laughs> the guy's always gotten a lot of hate ever since the good, good stuff, especially when it comes to the pro golf side of things, but it definitely has settled for the guy. Like Micah has definitely become a more likable character. I made two videos like two weeks ago, basically just double restoring the guy being like, he's finally found his stride again on YouTube. I'm happy for him. Like I've been enjoying his content recently, but anyways, that has also, I think shifted the narrative back to being a little more positive. And then this happens <laughs> and then the poor guy, top comment on the qualifier, Micah Mora, 
Michael Moore shoots 86, most predictable thing ever, blah, 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 blah. So he had kind of two responses to this. First, he posted on his story, new Taylor May burner. Oh, maybe this will help me break 80. Funny, good for him. And then he posted a more official post on his feed. I shot 86 at the queue. Apparently my career is over. Swipe to see how I'm really feeling about it. And then it's a meme of Michael Scott laughing and whatever. Anyways, it, listen, I think Micah did the right thing here. I think the only thing you can do in this situation is just lean into it. Like if he tried to fight it and if he tried to come on here and make a post and be like, listen guys, I had a really bad day. I sneezed six times in the morning, like full Logan Paul first fight against KSI. Just like, I, I, there were so many things working against me and that wasn't my true self. Oh my goodness, he would have got lit up, man, lit up. Bad birdie, so your career's over, man. It was a fun three weeks. That's really funny. So listen, he did the right thing for sure. He's gonna always have this negativity. He's a guy who left good, good, a massive, massive entity with so many young fans, especially on the internet, who are gonna go after him nonstop. He's a guy who came out and whether it was, <laughs> it's an argument to be made, whether it was his own words or just perception, but came out as a guy who's like, I'm better than everyone at good, good at golf. I'm leaving. I'm gonna be a pro golfer, which I think a lot of people assumed meant like PGA Tour level. He just, everyone, that didn't like him and like good good then just wanted to see him fail so he's always going to have comments like this happening like it's just going to be part unfortunately of his story arc for a long time until if ever he like really proves him wrong and goes off and does something crazy in professional golf but even if he doesn't who cares like i i we don't know if he's still really trying to do that or not mike is a great guy he makes great content i enjoy his content his new content i think is really good and listen i think he needs to do exactly what cba golf dog king is saying right here villain arc inbound like nobody's done that better than carter you take you know people whether people love you or whether people hate you if they're still watching you they're still watching you you know it's a howard stern it's like people who hate me watch me for 15 people who love me watch me for 10 or whatever it's like it's better almost to have infamy on the internet because uh, there's just something about like losers in the bedrooms who just can't look away and i mean i take uh, we all we all as creators take advantage of the, <laughs> the things that we know some people don't like about us and dive in double down and then you get those hate views and it's awesome so anyways guys that's kind of the story that's kind of the update from like i'm glad he handled it like this i think it's the best way he could have done it but let me know your thoughts on it all in the comments below that's your short friday update see you in the next one